You know, one of the biggest was that we'll start with on our kind of cheat sheet here is fish size, right? And it sounds crazy, um, but I don't know as much about electronics as you do, but I've definitely learned on my home body water Lake Erie, there's an awful lot of guys that have their sensitivity way too high and um, they're basically fishing white bass thinking that they're the world record walleye. So the best thing to do is leave your auto sensitivity on. And because that will change depending on depth, depending on clutter and give you a pretty accurate um, signal strength of, of the different fish size. Okay, so fish look different on 2D sonar, on down imaging, and on side imaging. On side imaging, I call them, they look more like torpedoes when you're moving. Down imaging, they look like dots. On 2D sonar, they look like fish arches. Okay, so the size of the fish is depending on the size of the dot or the arch. So it's just a, if it's just a round dot, if it's a bigger white dot, it's a bigger fish. Uh, for, all, for the side imaging, if it is a, a bigger torpedo, it's a bigger fish. If it's on 2D sonar, the arch, if the arch is bigger, it's a bigger fish. I'm not talking about length. The length of the arch is just how long the fish is under your boat or under the transducer. And that's a big one. I, I mean, yeah. I don't know how many people are in the boat with me are like, oh my God, look at that thing. It's all across the screen. It's like, no, he's just swimming with us. So. Yeah. You know, then you, that happens in Erie because your fish are suspended and they swim. And if you get one swimming with you, you're going to have a long arch. The, um, so it's the thickness of the arch. And, and primarily basically. in the center, right? Yep. The, the thickest part of the fish arch is your best idea uh, to use on how big the fish is. Now, you also have color because, you know, the, the, the sonar now shows the strength of the sound that's reflected back, the echo or the signal, whatever you want to call it. And stronger signals have different colors, and you need to know that. It's pretty easy to tell. The strongest signal is usually the same color as the bottom because the bottom reflects the most. So if your bottom, it, you know, it depends on your color screen. You know, there's different ones. Say your, uh, say the strongest uh, return is yellow. So if you have more yellow in your fish arch, bigger fish. But the, I like the thickness of the arch the best for me. That's what I, I go by. Now, as the fish is on the edge of the cone it doesn't reflect as much sound because it, the cone is as weaker as it goes out to the edge uh, so it's hard to tell fish on the edge of the cone uh, how big they are but the information that you do have if you drive around and look enough is that the, the thickest part of the fish arch is the biggest fish in the area well here's another thing is like you know on, on side imaging for fish size you can't, you don't even see the fish when you have a wide range. They're just little tiny dots out there. So if you run, if you want to be able to identify fish with side imaging, shrink your range. You're going to see more fish. You, when you, uh, what I do is I use a, a short range of say 70 feet. When I want to see fish, if I'm looking for structure, I'm six day I'm scanning. You know, if you scan for structure and you have your range set at 120 feet, think what you're looking You're looking at two thirds of a football field almost. That's a nice scanning area. But think about seeing a fish in that side. I like to get down to, you know, like 70 feet. And I see that that's the, what I like. I mean, they even get better at 30 feet, but then you're not scanning out very far because it, it just doesn't have the, the range. So that's a good point. Um, Let's see, other things are, um, with down imaging, you can um, change the contrast in some models and um, make the fish show out better. Mostly I just, nowadays I just use sensitivity. Like I have a helix like you have, and if I want to change my sensitivity, I just do the plus or minus buttons. It's so simple. 